what's up Xiaomi fans this is Christian and welcome back again to the channel where I talk about Xiaomi products its specs features and of course walkthroughs on how to set them up so if you like Xiaomi hit on the subscribe button if you haven't done it already and for today's product that we're going to feature is the meat temperature and humidity sensor so without further ado let's dive into the video The meat temperature and humidity sensor weighs 36 grams. This is pretty sensitive and accurate sensor with an approximately 4.5 cm LCD screen, low energy consumption and connects to the Mi Home app via Bluetooth. Okay, so this is the meat temperature and humidity monitor. So this is how it's being packed and let's go ahead and unpack this. So what comes inside the box is the monitor sensor. Okay, it uses a, a triple A battery and this magnetic uh, placeholder which you can actually stick it behind okay so there's a 3m sticker which you can just stick it maybe in your wall and uh, you can easily take this off because it's magnetic and also it comes with this uh, manual okay so uh, at the display you'll see the temperature which is in degrees Celsius and the relative humidity so on the top you'll see the Bluetooth icon uh, Bluetooth indicator and the battery indicator so here there's a vent ventilation hole okay so don't put anything or don't cover anything here because this is where the sensors the main sensors are and at the back uh, you'll see the groove this is for the magnetic placeholder okay and the battery inside it, it runs with a triple a single battery and there's the bluetooth button okay so later we will i'll show you how to connect this with your mi home app so now we are going to pair this to the mi home app okay so notice that the bluetooth uh, icon over there okay so you have to press and hold this for about five seconds okay so as you can see the bluetooth icon is actually blinking it's ready to pair all right so we're gonna go to our Mi Home app okay so for the Mi Home app you can press on the plus over here okay so it will search for that device okay so it found it you can either do this on auto automatic search or you can just do an add manually and uh, find the device so me temperature okay so you have it all right so it is now searching for that uh, since it's already stopped blinking you have to press and hold it again just follow the prompts but the faster okay so it's, it's now connecting it's quite fast okay but the fastest way is to use the device uh, search and connect from there okay so it's asking me which room I'll be putting this so I'll just put his under living room and you can actually rename this okay so but for now we're just gonna go next if you want to share this uh, to other users or other me home uh, email so you can do that as well okay so now you can see from your phone the temperature and relative humidity all right yeah it's pretty hot okay so just to compare it with my other uh, sensor okay so I already have two sensors over here so the other sensor, as you can see, I can uh, see it, the, the interface looks different. So I can see that there's a temperature, okay? And there is a history of the temperature and the history of the humidity, okay? So the reason for that is because I do have the bedside lamp. So the bedside lamp is actually a gateway. So which means this one connects uh, via Bluetooth to that and that one sends the information to my phone and my phone stores it via the Mi Home app and stores the uh, data of like the previous day, week or month on, on those uh, temperatures that it was recording. Okay, so if you use the new one, okay, I just added, okay, after a while, okay, as, as soon as it will detect, it will slowly pair, it will automatically pair for you, you don't have to do it manually. So once it is actually connecting to that gateway, we call it gateway, BLE gateway. 
as long as it uh, connects to that, you will send data to the phone and you will see those historical data as well on the phone. So as of now, you can, you can see the temperature and the humidity, which is connected via Bluetooth to the device. So let's do a setup for automation. So you have to press on the automation in your Mi Home app, then this plus sign over here. So we're gonna look for the Mi temper temperature and humidity sensor. Okay, so let's set if the temperature is higher than, let's just say 25 degrees, Okay, so done. And we are going to select, for example, the fan. So we turn on the fan. So what it does is once it will detect the temperature is higher than 25 degrees Celsius, it will automatically turn on the fan. So when you press OK, it will ask you to name it. Press OK. All right, so it has been added. So you can see we have an automation that we just set up. So let me know what you think about the Mi temperature and humidity sensor. You can leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it already. And also hit on that bell notification icon for you to get notified if I upload new videos. All right, so I'll be leaving a link as well on where to purchase this uh, product. And until next time, and thank you for watching. Bye.